Hello and welcome to Hayden Kirk Motion Solutions, a division of Amatech Precision Motion Control. My name is Dave Argwin, I'm the plant manager. We would like to take this opportunity to show you our manufacturing capabilities. We make the products you want us to make. Our lead screw assemblies and other motion control products are made to order based on your design specifications. We have the ability to turn your ideas into a finished product. We do this through the processes and technologies we've developed over the years. We hope this video will offer you a better understanding of what we can do for you and how we can provide a solution to meet your needs. Let's take a look. The process starts by grinding the stock down to its finished size. Adjustments are made at this step in the process to obtain the output we need at the next stage, which will be the rolling process. Multiple passes may be required and some fine tuning may be done at this step to account for the hardness of the material and its influence on the finished rolled product. This tweaking is an important first step in getting it right. The grinding process works in tandem with the rolling process. Typically we work with 300 series stainless ordered directly from the mill with stricter specifications than the industry standard to ensure the quality and precision criteria our lead screws must meet. Besides stainless steel, we can roll steel, aluminum, and other materials to meet your requirements. The precision thread rolling is a cold form process which shapes the threads into its final configuration. Whether it is a small or large diameter, fine or coarse lead, shallow or deep thread, it moves through the dies in one pass. Features such as thread OD, minor diameter, pitch diameter, lead accuracy are inspected here. Lead accuracy is the allowable deviation from the specified travel. Our standard accuracy is six ten thousandths of an inch per inch. We inspect using a lead checker, optical comparator, and laser interferometer. We can roll, check, and sort to a higher lead accuracy of up to one ten thousandths of an inch per inch. Most of our thread rolling is the through form process. However, for special requirements and where the screw design has features larger than the major diameter of the threads themselves, we can specially design dies to roll threads on a portion of the screw where only a specific section requires the threads. This can be done by a straight infeed method or in and through where the length of thread is longer than the width of the dies. The result is a precision rolled screw with end features to meet your application requirements. We have over 330 different thread forms and sizes including metric and left hand threads. Our dies are designed in house using proprietary software and are properly compensated for lead, rolling speed and finish. Each die set is cataloged and dedicated to a specific thread size. Dies are designed to roll our standard Kirk 40 degree thread form or custom threads as required. Our inventory consists of threads from 1 16th to 1 inch diameter and leads from 12 thousandths to 3.6 inches per revolution. Lengths from 6 feet up to 12 feet long. We have miles of screw stock ready for machining to your specifications and raw material sizes available so we can react quickly to meet your immediate requirements. Our expansive machine shop machines screws and other components to any configuration imaginable whether it be machine bearing journals, milled flats, and other features needed to mount and drive the lead screw. Swiss style turning centers machine parts from long 12 foot bars of threaded stock, close tolerance guide bushings, high pressure coolant, special collets, and select cutting tools allow us to machine the screw ends while holding tight tolerances of up to 3 ten thousandths of an inch on diameters and surface finishes better than 16 micro inches. A key area to highlight is our rapid prototype department. Custom machine lead screws to your drawing can be ready in one week through our dedicated work cell. This allows us to get you parts for testing and evaluation of your design, saving you time and helping you to get products released to the market quicker. All lead screw and linear rails are carefully checked and inspected at startup during and after processing to ensure they meet your design specifications. Each lead screw goes through a buffing process to remove burrs from where the machine features meet the screw threads. This allows the mating nut to start and fit freely on the screw as a finished product without damaging it. Proprietary Kirkcoat coating can be applied to screws and linear rails at a minimal cost. This coating acts as a dry lubricant. It increases the life of the product, reduces sliding friction, and increases efficiency of the assembly. At this point, every screw goes through a rigorous 100% check for straightness of the shaft and run out of the bearing journals. Screws are straightened to our standard 3 thousandths per foot. Journals are straightened to within 2 thousandths runout. However, many of our customers require tighter straightness and journal runout tolerances, which we can accommodate. Diameters on the same screw are checked for their coaxial relationship to one another 
and to the OD of the screw. Having these features aligned is an important characteristic of the screw which ensures it will fit and work well in your assembly. Now that the completed lead screws are rolled, machined, buffed, coated, and straightened, they are ready for assembly. CNC vertical milling is used to machine linear rails. We can start with an extruded shape and mill attaching holes, bearing slides, and motor mount details, such as the case with our RGS linear slides. For our screw rail linear products, we start with tubing and mill the slot. Special cutters and fixturing are designed in-house for this purpose. Surface grinding is the next step to the process and allows us to improve tolerances and finishes on the product. Other tooling can be designed and made on site as required. Many of our taps are used to cut the threads in the nuts are made in-house. The thread form matches the screw that the nut will assemble to. The tap flutes are milled and ground into the tool. Taps of all sizes can be made to provide the right fit between the mating screws and nuts. We can tailor the fit clearances to meet the design or application requirements. Nuts can be made from many different types of materials. We can prototype quickly using bar stock. Production parts can also be made this way providing unique configurations and features. Various CNC turning and milling centers are used to obtain the nut clearances and finishes. Primary and secondary operations cut the details into standard general purpose, anti-backlash, or custom nuts. Our tool room is fully equipped to make molds for our plastic injection molding. This can be single or two cavity molds and range from cavity blocks used in a standard mold base to completely fully automatic unscrewing tools with side action. What we build depends on the configuration, quantity, tolerances required, design, and your project budget. Tooling can be made and a custom molded prototype part can be delivered in as little as four weeks for under $4,000. Now that the tool is made, our molding department can mold various engineered plastics to meet your demanding applications, whether it be wider temperature ranges, harsh environments, and pressure velocity limits. Molded parts can range from a standard or generic blank that can be machined later into several different sizes or options. Other molded parts come out of the tool complete. In many cases, a core is inserted in the mold to provide the thread required that will fit the screw. We can also overmold parts, which consists of a metal component inserted into the mold and the plastic injected around it. This provides a hybrid metal and plastic part that offers the benefits of the plastic interface on the screw or sliding surface with the strength of metal on key features. Dimensions, tolerances, finishes, and design features are checked carefully to ensure they meet our customer's requirements and internal workmanship standards. Secondary operations for adding threaded inserts or other components to the nut are also possible, especially in cases where it is not practical or feasible to include it at molding due to the design or quantity required. Complete nuts, screws, linear rails are then moved to assembly where everything is put together in its final form. This can be a basic screw and nut assembly or a complete value-added assembly consisting of bearings, drive pulleys, couplings, brackets, or other components for a more turnkey solution. We work to customer specifications and our own internal workmanship standards to provide a completed assembly that will satisfy your application requirements. Screws and nuts are checked for proper fit. Radial and axial play is measured to ensure proper clearances. Drag torque between the screw and anti-backlash nut is checked to a specified range. Any other final inspection requirements are done at this point, before the order is packaged and sent to the customer. The assemblies are now complete and ready for shipment. You have seen our manufacturing capabilities. The products we make are limited only by your imagination. Let us help assist you in the design of a finished custom assembly for your application. We hope you have enjoyed this video. Please view our other Amatech YouTube videos online or visit us at HaydenKirk.com. Thank you for watching.